Year 10 polynomials exam practice question 6. Find the coefficient of x to the power 3 in the expansion of this book. 2x to the power 3 minus 5x squared plus 2x minus 1. In the other bracket, 3x to the power 3 plus 2x squared minus 9x plus 7. So there's two ways we can go about this is when we're thinking about where we've got two brackets times it, everything in one side must times with the other. So we can see straight away on when we're going to have x to the power 3. So straight away, I can see here that if this 2x to the power 3, only thing I'm going to get to be a power 3 is when I times it with the constant. So 2x to the power 3 times 7 is 14x to the power of 3. So we don't have to um, get it into the exp everything in the expanded form. We can just look at what we want. If I look at this, x to the power of 2, the only thing it will get to the x to the power of 3 is when I times it with something that has 1x. So 5 negative 5x to the power of 2 times negative, a negative and a negative is a positive. 5 times 9 is 45. So we've got 45x to the power of 3. Again here, I can see that we have 2x, and if this times is with x to the power of 2, and x, it will become 3x, which means I've got 2x times 2x to the power of 2, and that is equaling 4x to the power of 3. Likewise here, negative 1 times 3x to the power of 3 is just negative 3x to the power of 3. So these are all of our power of 3s that we would have got. But I've just done it in a simpler way. Now we can just solve it. 14x to the power of 3 plus 45x to the power of 3. Excuse me, 59x to the power of 3. But then I have, I still have plus 4x to the power of 3 minus 3x to the power of 3. So, 59 groups plus 4 groups is 63, minus 3 is 60 groups of x to the power of 3. So this was just a, simp uh, a simpler version, a simpler way of solving and finding the coefficient. Because now we've got x to the power of 3, I am able to say that my coefficient is 60.